Hello and welcome to this week's video. So today we're going to unravel the mystery of the different coloured penguin books. So uh, penguin were very clever with their marketing and they put the different coloured books and uh, different series under a different guise. And uh, it's something which has always uh, baffled the, uh, the non-penguin enthusiast. I'm here to explain all that and to show you examples of all the different colours uh, that were published during the main series. So uh, sit back, relax and let's get to it. Okay, so this is a look at the penguin, different penguin series and the different colors of the penguins. And uh, penguin were famous in that they um, made their titles instantly recognizable, uh, the different sort of genres and um, series that they published uh, by color coding them. So you already had the very distinctive uh, tri-band uh, uh, covers there um, and they just put them into these these great colors so orange is perhaps the most famous um, and recognizable as an old penguin and these just came out in um in in the bright orange uh, color i brought this one down this is quite interesting because it was a, a bit of a thicker penguin than usual it was classed as a double volume so you got the, the two sort of uh, penguins there um, and of course it was twice the price uh, two shillings so that's the the fiction ones then perhaps the next most famous would be the green crime titles. So here's a couple of uh, examples of those. Um, and um, there are many, many collectors who just collect penguin crime. Uh, they, you know, they, they've made a point of just, uh, just sticking to the green crime ones. And they're also amongst the most expensive to find. Um, I absolutely love penguin crime. And I, although I'm not a crime buff by any means, the sort of crime that penguin published back then uh, was the crime sort of titles that I like to read now, um, Agatha Christie or um, uh, Simonon, uh, those sorts of uh, those sorts of authors, obviously all the uh, Conan Doyles. Now, the very first Penguin, of course, was a, actually Ariel, which is a biography. So for biographies, they have this very sort of dark navy blue color. And here's a couple of examples of those, and they're marked uh, biography on this, the edge there. So that was the blue ones. And then they did a, like a miscellaneous series. So these were in yellow. And um, I particularly like this one because I'm a bit of a snooker fan. This is like old billiards and snooker for amateur players. Um, sort of how to set up shots and things like that. Fantastic for its age, this one. Um, in a nice, nice dust wrapper. Um, when was this? This is quite early. This is 19... Uh, yeah, 1937. Um, so these were sort of like oddball titles that didn't really fit into the main um, uh, run. In fact, you see they're miscellaneous. So crossword books, for example, these would be um, listed with yellow jackets as a miscellaneous title. And that was another very distinctive colour. So that was the yellows. Now you had these ones, which were like um, for essays and uh, Bell's letters, as it were. Um, these these are like this. Um, I, I, don't, I wouldn't call it pink. I, it's more like a purple, isn't it? More than anything. Um, and these were like yeah, collections of essays. Although later on, they just you know there was like a little sub series marked essays, and the design changed again. But for these early times, and this is definitely one of my favourites by H. G. Wells, um, and this is absolutely beautiful um, edition. Um, and you know the. I'd say sort of a pinky, pinky purple color there, but I have shown it because that one is notoriously uh, much lighter than the the later sort of ones from the fifties, which are the, the sort of the darker purple. Now we've got grey ones. Now these were for world affairs, and there's only about half a dozen or so. Um, I can heartily recommend um, Hershey's uh, Hiroshima. Um, fantastic read that very very short it was actually a magazine article that was put into penguin book form so you can read it in like an hour it, it, but it is absolutely riveting um this one here looks at the um yeah the uh, nazi criminals who were tried at nuremberg um, after the war um as i said there's not many in this series but um distinctive by their very gray covers um and uh, they're all pretty good actually so that's those we're about halfway there so I'll pop those there so we can still see them all. Now, the next one are red covers. So these were plays, basically. Um, Penguin published loads by uh, George Bernard Shaw. He was a big um, uh, friend of Alan Lane. So Lane managed to publish the whole lot. Um, 
also um, they would often get huge, huge print runs. So this one was 1946 for Man and uh, Superman. And uh, there's a uh, plate of Oscar Wilde there. So you can see these are like the distinctive red, red colours. And then we've got another series uh, which a lot of people absolutely love, which is the Cerise or very like electric pink travel and adventure series. And I've got to admit, there's stuff in there. I'd never been really into tr much travel uh, literature until I started reading a few of these, and they are fantastic. And there's a lot of very, very good stuff in here. Um, so these are worth tracking down. And once again, there are there's even websites devoted just to early penguin travel books. So uh, if you want to know uh, a bit more about these, just jump online. Um, I like them for uh, some of these. So these ones here, Travel and Adventure, were, uh, this is a flying penguin, um, but these are published, you know, just prior to the war. And in this series, you do get lots of, um, well, lots, I say, a few First World War escape stories, which were reprinted by Penguin and sent to um, prisoners of war during the Second World War. And they almost use them as manuals, which is uh, brilliant. Uh, the Escaping Club by A.J. Evans is one that springs to mind. Anyway, these travel books are in the distinctive pink. All right. Um, they also did brown for history. Now, these are a bit, a bit later in um, in the 1950s. This is a two-volume one. Uh, this is volume one. Uh, you probably recognise the name Robert Graves, and uh, this is his look at the Greek myths, and it's excellent. So uh, this one comes recommended. So that's it on the, the main Penguin series, but the other most distinctive one of all around for years was, of course, Pelican books, and these are in this very light blue series. So this is uh, one of the earlier ones, number 57. So this is like... 1936, 1937, something like that. Yeah, 1939 even. So that's a, uh, like an early pelican in the light blue. And then as the 40s came to close into the 50s, you've got this sort of darker, slightly darker blue cover, but still very distinctive as a pelican. And there you go. That is a list of all the different colours that you might find in vintage penguin books. Hope you enjoyed that. So there you go. I trust now that you're all experts in the many and varied colours of Penguin books. Now, don't forget on my channel, I have, well, by now, um, quite a, almost a dozen uh, vintage Penguin videos and there's stacks more to come. Um, I've got lots more planned Penguin in uh, George Orwell, Agatha Christie in Vintage Penguin, looking at the Puffin books and uh, King Penguins, Penguin Specials, the list goes on. I've got lots to show you, um, uh, so there's always plenty to see there. Do check the uh, the accompanying playlists um, for links to those videos uh, going forward. Now, if you've enjoyed this and it's been beneficial, do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see regular Penguin content like this. And um, thank you very much again for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.